So the next thing we're going to cover here is enhancements to uh, three-axis machining. Again, these enhancements will be available uh, right from our standard configuration in the three axis. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the enhancements to horizontal finishing operation. Now currently in version uh, 2017, uh, for the horizontal finishing operation, by default, uh, when a contain it used to retract to a clearance plane when a containment is encountered. So for an, in an example in this case like this here, you were noticing that the cutter used to retract and then step down to the next level uh, when you had a containment over here. Now in version 2018, we've introduced a new option in here which allows you to follow a containment. So you have this additional option that's called follow containment and this is available in all the configurations starting with standard. So you can choose follow containment. So this will eliminate the additional retracts and transfer motions and you know basically use your same cutting free rate as it follows the containment across. And uh, this makes it a lot easier for machining and eliminates the need for acceleration and deceleration and makes, you, makes it a lot more efficient and smoother. Now here's an example where you'll see that uh, how the benefit of uh, follow containment helps on a typical case. In this particular case, you see that there are several areas on this part uh, with the containment where it's following the containment versus retracting it to the clearance. So this eliminates a lot of additional you know, transfer and retract motions. And with the follow containment, it makes your uh, you know, cutting a lot more efficient. So this is one of the many enhancements that have been added to three-axis machining in version 2018. The next thing I would like to uh, talk about is enhancements to uh, steep Z uh, finishing. And this method is available in the pro and premium configurations of uh, our mill module. So if you go into three axis advanced and select steep Z finishing, we've now introduced the option to specify top and bottom cut containments. And you can either use the uh, spinner increment controls or you can graphically pick the top and the bottom cut containments uh, for uh, horizontal hill machining or also known as steep Z finishing and this is available uh, in version 2018 and uh, this, this particular method the horizontal hill machining or the steep uh, Z finishing is available in pro and premium configurations of formal module. Now the next thing we would like to talk about is uh, the enhancements in three axis uh, for sorting of regions in uh, parallel finishing and also 3D projection pocketing. And to uh, go over this, I'm going to bring in another example in here. And we'll take a look at how we've been uh, you know, processing currently in our previous versions. As you notice, there are several retracts occurring in here as it transitions from one containment region to the next in the case of parallel finishing and three-axis projection pocketing. Now with our version 2018, We've introduced the sorting tab, so that will make this sorting between containment regions either based on a minimum distance sort or based on a directional sort, so it makes it a lot more efficient as the cutter transfers over from one containment region to the next. So you can take advantage of the sorting tab in parallel finishing, and this is available again in our mill module starting with the standard configuration and the three axis projection pocketing is available in our pro and premium configurations. So the ability to sort your control geometry or containment regions is one of the many enhancements that have been added to uh, three axis machining operations. So we talked about the enhancements to horizontal finishing, steep Z finishing, and also sorting of regions in parallel finishing, 